Hey guys, this is Angel from Mavix Gaming with a brand new video for Days Gone. If this is useful, don't forget to leave a like or check the playlist right here at the top right corner where you can find more Days Gone videos that I will be uploading as I progress through the game. Today I will show you how I defeated the Horde at the Old Sawmill. This is, up to this point in my playthrough, the hardest Horde I have encountered, with a massive 650-ish freakers gathered in this place. Usually I do a quick strategy explanation and then just show the gameplay, but because this took different stages and tries to actually progress during one or two hours of gameplay, I will just do the strategy part. First of all, weapons, gear and skills. There are almost 700 freakers and you need to make every bullet count in order to barely scratch the size of this horde. Best skills for this particular horde are basically almost all the ones of the range skill tree, but most importantly, two birds, one bullet, and up the end, which are pretty much self-explanatory. Talking about weapons, I would recommend getting the SMP9, which you can unlock for free by defeating four different hordes. The M50 Rising, which is available for 2000 cents once you reach Trust Level 2 on Iron Mike's camp and the MG45 from Tucker's camp for 2500 cents reaching trust level 3. Also the Pike Saddleback 1 upgrade from Copeland's camp for 800 cents is great and regarding inventory and supplies, the more you have, the merrier, so stack as much as you can. Now passing to the strategy part, for me the key to this fight is a very useful safe spot which is one of the bridges that serves as a connection point between the sawmill and the rest of the world. You can leave your bike in this point, and after doing your loops around the sawmill, you can come here, break in the horde unity, clear the freakers that follow you, and then you can save your progress by the bike and restore your ammunition. Don't try to clear the complete horde in just one attack. Try to divide your attack by different sessions. I suggest the first attack you do against the horde is by attracting a good portion of them to the nearby near a checkpoint right here and hold your position up the hill near this bridge while you clear the freakers. Yeah, now we're in business. Damn it, that's gonna bring them all down on me. Second attack should be during the night by getting on top of this building and throwing explosives while they are gathered inside the pit. Third attack can be on this spot, hiding in the bush using the tractors and molotovs. Fourth attack session can be using a variety of the traps and choke points on the windmill itself, like these stacks of wood that you can detonate with pipe pumps. This gas tank on the corner. The river on the east.
and this little wooden bridge near where you left your bike. I don't recommend going through the sawmill because the horde is too big and you can be overrun very easily. Once you do that, go back to the bridge where you left your bike and just keep attracting the rest of the horde to this spot, breaking the unity, killing the freakers and rinsing and repeating. If you ran out of ammo, remember you can refill using your saddlebag, this police car near this point of entry, or in the weapon locker of the sawmill. One final warning I must do is that you can unfortunately screw up and not complete the horde despite your best efforts because one or two freakers can go missing. After I cleared the vast majority of them, I searched for half an hour for this and uh, sadly they never appeared, although the place was now completely empty. I tried fast traveling back and forth or using the bike to attract them, but I haven't got any luck until now, so hope you don't have to deal with this awful situation. Well, that was it, good luck with the horde, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.